Are you looking into visiting Macon, Georgia in 2022? Or are you actually already have that all planned out, but don't know what to do when you are in Macon? Well, I got you covered. I got seven things you should do when visiting Macon, Georgia. So let's go. Number seven on the list is drink a beer. Just have one. I know that there are people who don't like beer. They don't like the flavor of it, but there is something for everyone and you don't have to drink beer. You just don't. If you are not into beer, get a wine or a sparkling water. There is something for you there, don't worry. But if you are into beer, Macon has you covered. Flavors all day. Whether you are trying to explore the 60 plus beers on rotation at just tab, or if you want to bar hop and try all the different micro breweries Macon has. Well, the Macon beer scene has you covered when it comes to beer. And if that is something you like, you should try it out, definitely. There's also the Macon Beer Company. And the Macon Beer Company pulls their flavor inspiration actually from the town itself. The Macon Beer Company also offers brewery tours at their original site. And they just opened a new pub in downtown Macon you should check out. So if beer is something for you and you are visiting Macon, you should check that Number out. Number six on the list is the culture. Like every other up and coming city, Macon has a lot of culture. And Macon also has a bustling first Friday. In downtown Macon, art galleries are open. There is music in the streets and you find a lot of culture. Or just get off the beating path and visit the new edgy triangle art just on the outskirts of downtown Macon in the industrial district. Either way, if you visit Macon, you will find something that excites and inspires you for sure. Number five is living your festival life. I mean, who does not like festivals, right? And Macon is known to be the festival capital of the South, and they will help you to live your best festival life ever. Just to name a few, they have the International Cherry Blossom Festival, the Macon Beer Fest, the Macon Music Festival, as well as the Macon Film Festival. And those are just a few of all the festivals you can visit while you are visiting Macon. And if you are not into those big festivals, and I get it, some people just don't like those crowded festivals, 100%, I get it. But if you are still wanting to check out a festival that townies are obsessed with and they're a little smaller, you should check out the Pops Main Street Christmas Extravaganza or the Magnolia Soapbox Derby. They got you covered when it comes to festivals, smaller festivals as well as huge festivals. There is a reason why Macon is called the festival capital of the South. So if you're there and you like festivals, check them out. Four on the list is learning on the go. While you're in Macon, learning some more stuff about history, about arts, about science. Who doesn't want to do that? I mean, if you are interested in stuff like that, you should definitely check out the Museum of Arts and Science because you can explore everything from interactive art to a mini suit and planetarium there. Macon has actually a bunch of museums you should visit and one of them you should definitely visit and learn more about history is the Tubman Museum. This museum specializes in African American history, art and culture and we should all learn more about that. This museum has been specialized in exactly that for over 30 years. I think you should check it out definitely when you're in Macon and if you are into history and want to learn more about the African American history, culture and art, then this is something you need to visit definitely. And when it comes to music, there is the Otis Redden Museum which is still run by his family. I probably slaughtered the name and I'm sorry about that, but this museum is something you should check out. And because of the rich music history in Macon, Georgia, Macon is a destination for a lot of music enthusiasts all over the globe to visit all those music museum like the Otis Redding Museum that is still run by the family, which is crazy. But this museum is something you should check out too. So if you're in Macon and you are all into arts, science, African-American history, arts and culture and music, 
you should check out all the museums they have because you will gain a lot of knowledge in a short time on the go. So check it out. Number three on the list is just go outside, enjoy the outdoors. Macon has a bunch of parks you can visit and you can just relax and soak in the sun and enjoy the weather and relax from all the stress of work and maybe travel. Who knows? I mean, if you have kids, you might be stressed traveling to Macon. Or take on the streets by joining Bike Walk. Macon's Bike Party. This group hosts a community ride every month to show you Macon in a new and unique way. So if that is something you are interested in and you want to enjoy the outdoors while exploring, you should definitely try that out while visiting Macon. Number two is enjoying the shows that Macon has. Macon has a lot of young talent. I mean, Macon has an overflow of young talent. That young talent shows their talent in the theater Macon. They show award-winning plays there all the time and they're very proud of it. And you can catch one of those shows and see how talented those young people are. If you're not into that, there's also the music part of Macon that is huge. I mean, Macon has a, a very, very rich history when it comes to music. And you can check out local talent at the Hogray Capital Theater or at the Hummingbird Stage and Tap Room. If you are into music, you should definitely check those out while you're there in Macon. If you're not into music and maybe theater is more your uh, style and you like to see some plays, then check out the theater Macon. They have so much talent out there. If you are not into any of those or you don't know what you're into, you should definitely check both of them out. It's amazing. One on the list is checking out and exploring the historical downtown Macon. That is something you should definitely do. Not only if you're visiting Macon for a week or so, if you pass through Macon, you should take the advantage and check out the historical downtown Macon. It doesn't matter if you want to just buy a gift if you want to grab some food at an amazing locally owned restaurant, or if you want to have a beer, a cocktail, a wine, whatever, you should definitely do that. And it can take up your whole day on foot, but it's something you should do. Definitely something to put on top of your list when you're visiting Macon, Georgia in the future. And if you need some guidance touring the historical downtown Macon, Rock Candy Tours got you covered. And I put their link in the description below so you can check them out. This is the number one you should do when you are in Macon, Georgia. This was my video for this week. If you did enjoy it, I would appreciate you smashing that like button. And if you're new to this channel, maybe subscribe because it could be that I cover something you are interested in. You don't want to miss out on that. You do not want to miss out on that. I put some links in the description below about Macon and things you can visit. So you have a little bit of guidance if you are actually looking into Macon and visiting Macon, Georgia. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you haven't already, check out my other videos on the channel and I'll see you in the next one.